Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Next, we've got the new, we get the Central Matic new versus the Spectrum and the new, this has not been announced before, the new Black Widow. We got a new product here. This is going to be the new ultra top of the line, you know, uh, air, air, uh, air paint system. So not your, your airless, not for like latex. You're not going to spray paint your house with it. Now stains, that's another matter because that's a water-based, you know, uh, 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 product there. So this is, I haven't got my paws on it. I, I just found out about it recently, and but I, everything I see about it, it looks amazing. I got to talk to the guy who's been doing the development, the new development for the new air, uh, air guns here. And the guy is just brilliant, just simply brilliant. He, the guy's been in the industry for years. He's done designs for all sorts of names. And, uh, I, I don't think you're going to be disappointed one bit with that, that black widow system there. Uh, let's jump through the rest of these. The red compressors, not a fan of the red compressors, unless you're getting the pancake compressor to do some nailing. But I'll be honest, unless you're on a tight budget a super tight budget. Uh, if you're, if you're not go on the far right, you can get the one gallon, uh, uh, half horsepower oilless for one fifty. That thing is fabulous. Yeah, it's three times the price. It'll last you more than three times the length. And your hearing will thank the bear. Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, we talk at the, at the top. We've got the good, better, best. And, again, we see a, a new product there. I know it's been leaked once before, or at least once. And that is the new 27-gallon oilless compressor from Fortress. This is, I think, looking at like a direct competitor against the DeWalt. And uh, also maybe the, the Cobalt. And I think there's a Husky one in there as well. I, I haven't had one in my paws yet. I'm dying to see it. I know the price point is, is a bit hefty up there. We'll have to wait and see what the real sales price on it really comes down to. But if it's anything like the rest of the Fortress line, I'm, I'm going to need one. That's just all there is to it. The, if Especially like, hey, if you're looking for nailers, right below that, they got the new five-gallon one. And the, that is, that's your serious pro nailer uh, air compressor right there. You can run two floor nailers off of that and without, run without stopping. You can run all day, all day with that thing. And now, look down at the bottom. We got another coupon. That is 25% off any Fortress air compressor. 20, did I say percent? $25 off any Fortress air compressor. That takes that, that one gallon there down to what, 125 that that's a nice little coupon. I got to tell you, you know, if you're a, if you're home a, a DIYer and you're and you're thinking you want a compressor, I know a lot of guys are thinking, "Oh, I want to get the Central Pneumatics or I want to at 160 or 150 or whatever." Really take a look at what you're doing because unless you're planning to run some serious air tools, you don't need a big compressor. You just don't. And I, I know we all grew up with decent sized compressors in the, in the shop and whatnot. But the fact of the matter is we didn't have the battery power tools that we have today. You need an impact wrench. If you're just doing DIY, get the Bauer. If you're pro, get the Earthquake. Uh, the, you know, the, all these other tools, I mean, I, I don't hate to knock them, but air tools, I, I, I think the days are numbered because battery lithium-ion battery packs are, are just so good these days that it's hard to justify going with the air tool. And if you're not doing that, then you can get that cheaper compressor. And for just stuff around the house, I mean, I've got that two-gallon Fortress compressor. I find myself going to that thing 90% of the time. And I've got five or six air compressors in my shop. And when I need to do something, if it's not running a large air tool, that, that's what I go for. Fires up quick, doesn't hurt my fuzzy ears. It, it, it's super easy to use. The, the, everything about it is awesome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys, if you're an air compressor guy and you're like, oh, I need air tools. Speaking of air tools, oh, and speaking of air tools, we got all sorts of air tools on the next side. You know, we got the Chief, the uh, the all the new Chief stuff. They're coming out with some great stuff. And, and if you're into air air tools, and, I, and there's no reason not to be. I mean, it, it's not like they're going to go away, you know, before, while we're still on this planet. But they're still going to be around. But the fact of the matter is, I, I find myself able to do stuff with, without them. But like, if you're a body guy, if, if you're doing, you know, body work and, and serious automotive, yeah, I could see it going with one of these. And, uh, 
You know, they got the little recip saw, which is great for doing those hard, uh, you know, body curves and stuff like that. Uh, we're talking paneling on, on cars here, guys. Uh, I, I get it. But for, for me, for my uses, I, I'm going electric. You know, we talked talk about nailers before over here on the other right. We got the Good, Better, Best, which is Century Pneumatics, Banks, and Pierce. <laughs> Pierce. Anyway, uh, man... I just got nothing bad to say. I've heard nothing bad. I got nothing bad to say myself. All these nailers have been fabulous. I've I've used a bunch of the central pneumatics. Never had a problem with it. Uh, the the banks. I, I've not used any of the banks, but they all look great. And people who've used them tell, say great things about them. And the Pierce. I, I've got the 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 pin nailer on that. But you know that's that's really not much of a challenge. But I you know was just talking to a contractor uh, just last week. He's got the the finish nailer here. He loves it. He, he thinks this thing's fabulous. And there's that earthquake uh, hose reel we're talking about for 189 The new Diablo and, uh, and earthquake hoses, these things are great, man. They, they're so much a step above in quality from the, the, the basic central pneumatic hoses. You get one and you'll, you'll understand. That, that's all I can say. All right. Next page. We're talking cordless. I was talking up the cordless. We're back to it. And again, we got our good, better, best, which is our Warriors, the good level. It's kind of replacing the drill master uh, kind of stuff we used to see at, at Harbor Freight. Bowers solidly in their middle. Think of that as the higher end of the of the um, the Ryobi line. You know, maybe around the Porter Cable kind of stuff. And the best is the Hercules, and Hercules is, is definitely targeted at the high end prosumer, uh, low end professional market. Now, don't no, I know the, the Hercules guys probably get a little. Little, little, you know, fuzzy butt hurt about that saying low end, and I'm just saying that because they just have anything out yet that's in that really higher upper end. They don't have a, a large, you know, large scale, you know, uh, brushless, you know, high power motor yet. That stuff's coming. It's in the pipeline. I'm sure it'll be out, yeah, probably next year, but uh, maybe sooner. Who knows with these things? But I gotta say, if if you've seen any of the reviews. You know, when I first started talking about the, the Herc line, people were giving me grief, going, oh, Bear, you're full of it. You know, you're just in the tank for Harbor Freight. Yeah, more and more reviewers on on, uh, on YouTube are saying, you know what? That Herc's not bad. You know what? That Herc beat the DeWalt. The Herc beat the Milwaukee. The Herc beat this. Herc beat that. And they're having to eat some crow. And I just want to remind you, who was here telling you first? You know? Hey, just listen to the stuff I've told you about here. If it's not good from Harbor Freight, I'll tell you it's not good. I'll tell you to avoid it. The Herc, $89. If you're looking for a serious drill driver at $90, and they have by far the best battery system for the dollar. I mean, Milwaukee has probably the best battery system, but you pay for it. This is almost as good as the high-end Milwaukee batteries. And for the dollar amount, you get 40 bucks for 5 amp hour. Please. Or was it 30? Hold on, I need to check. Anyway, point is, the, the great batteries on these systems, you cannot go wrong with it. And if you saw my videos, if you haven't seen my video, check out the video there. They, they, they're they showing it right here, the new Cirque, or the Recip saw. I just tried the Recip saw. I tried the new Cirque saw. I'm, I'm in love with them both. They're fabulous. And uh, they're comparing it against the Milwaukee. You know, I grew up with Milwaukee Sawzalls. I gotta say this 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 Herc Sawzall's a, a work of art. Um, and the twelve volt line, I love the twelve volt line, I really do. And I and I, and it, it, I will say it did outperform the base twelve volt line from uh, from Milwaukee. Not the fuel line, that's the brushless ones, but the brush to brush, you know, apples to apples comparison, it beat it. But if you want two of these, you're looking at hundred and thirty dollars for both. For that price, Milwaukee's constantly running a sale where you get two of them plus the batteries plus usually another tool or an, uh, an extra two sets of batteries. So you're talking like $160, $170 value and a five-year warranty. Herc, you, you got to do something if you want to compete in the 12-volt line. And there we get the earthquake on the other side. That, that's a no-brainer. If you are a serious, if, if you're a pro or a super serious DIYer, you want to go with the earthquake line. I, I know Milwaukee's killing it over there, but the cost comparison for what you get, and if you get the extended warranty, you just walk in and do the swap. Even the five-year warranty at Milwaukee can't compete with that. 
They, they've got a brushless. A lot of people forget that they, they've, they're moving into the brushless on that line. The angle grinder's brushless on that. They've got that great little 12 volt polisher. The great 12 volt cordless uh, 3 8 extreme torque ratchet kit. You know, and if you're not in the pro line, if you're not going that level, you're just looking prosumer. I've got the uh, the the impact, the the Bauer uh, half inch impact that we just used this past weekend uh, working on on the it was a a, a big Dodge super uh, super van there. Just just I mean, my buddy was like, he's like, really, this is, this can do it? Spun those legs right off, man. Old rusted, just bing gone. Okay, I'm hoping to do a whole video on that here shortly. Anyway, and then we got the rest of the Bauer line, man. There's a, there's a lot of tools out there in the Bauer line. We've got the impact. We've got the hammer driver or hammer drill. We've got, of course, the half inch impact, the three eighths impact wrench, the the angle grinder, the Cirque saw, the orbit sander, uh, the and then of course the outdoor power equipment. We got the hedge trimmer, the chainsaw, and the blower. All of these taking the Bauer batter, batteries. Again, the more high-quality lithium-ion uh, batteries from Harbor Freight. If you're a DIYer trying to trying to get something better than the average bear, you got to do it. You just you just got to go with the Bauer. It's hard not to at this point. They have such a, a large selection, and there's more coming out like almost every month. We're back to the air impacts. I'm not really going to cover it. If the the earthquake is has become a no-brainer. Uh, it, it's, I don't know why anybody buys snap on power tools or impacts anymore. Uh, it, it, you're either going to go with Milwaukee or you're going to go with earthquake, uh, depending on where you shop and how you like to shop. That's just the way it is. Uh, that Bauer right angle, heavy duty, uh, drill. It's a, it's a corded drill. Yeah. Uh, if you're in construction, you need to get one of those, uh, corded drills. You know, a lot of people forget the power of a corded drill. And they've been so used to the cordless stuff these days. If you got some big jobs, man, and you could pick these up for next to nothing. Let me tell you, that $55 uh, hammer drill there, <laughs> heavy duty, that will that will chew through about anything. You give it a good bit and some time, and it will go, you know, probably all the way to China if you let it. All right. And on the other side, we've got the multi-tools. We talked about it. I'm not a fan of the multi-speed. I know, I know, I know. But, you know, 20 bucks versus 40 bucks. Uh, the grinder down there. I'm a big fan of that gooseneck grinder with the lamp on it for $42. Uh, I like that one a lot. The rotary tools. The black one is a piece of junk. Avoid it. Sorry, guys. But the 31-piece uh, variable speed, that one is great. Uh, I've got it. Actually, my son just bought it for his projects. We're loving it. The the variable speed cordless one. Hey, you know what? I, I tried one out. You know, I tried one out. I was not... I got, maybe the, the, what I was using on wasn't great. If you've used one and you like it, let me know. I don't know your input on it. For me, it, it felt like it needed a little bit more torque, but maybe that was just me. Um, we got to get through this here. The the Okay, real quick, at the bottom, we, the, the vices. I've got a Western Forge vice. It's, or sorry, Central Forge, <laughs> not Western. So I've got Central Forge vice. I use it as for light duty stuff. If you really crank on this, there's a chance you're going to break them. You put a cheater bar on that thing, you will break it. That's all there is to it. It's good for holding light duty stuff, not for heavy duty. Um, next page, the 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 floor presses and the bench top presses. I, I got to say they are the best bang for the buck in drill presses. But you got to know how to set them up. You got to take the time, go through all the bolts, tighten everything up inside and out. Remember, these things have been on a boat for four months coming over from China or whatever on, on trains and whatnot. They get a good shaking. You need to set them up, make sure they're, they're all at the right angles and whatnot, and, and do it right. Uh, oh, the, the, the central machinery lathe. I know tons of serious woodworkers who use that lathe. They swear by it. Below that, we got the Bauer Planer 329. That's a no buy at 329, but that does go on sale for all the way down to around 250. And at 250, it's the best bang for the buck, short of the $550 planer from DeWalt. So unless you're gonna spend 550, you know, spend half that, get the coupon, maybe try over at Harbor Freight Coupon Database, and get that uh, that planer from them. Uh, let's jump through the sanders. I, you know what? I'm not a snob when it comes to sanders. As long as they do the job, that's all I care about. 
And I've had no problems with any of these sanders. Uh, let's over on the other page. We got the Herc stuff we talked about before. Again, that bet that Hercules, uh, the sliding miter saw, there's a coupon out there almost always bringing it down to $300. But if you don't need that, get the Admiral, spend the extra money. Uh, the table saws, 279 That's close to the best price. Best price we've seen on it was 250 But 279 that's a that's a good price on that saw. And, uh, you know, I like it. I use it a lot at home. Uh, but it's, you know, it's some guy, some people like the fence on the DeWalt better. You know, if that's your thing, then that's your thing. But if you don't want to spend that money on the DeWalt, and, and the next person who posts, oh, I can get that DeWalt for the same price, I'm going to bear slap you. Because what you're talking about when you quote that is is not that same model. It's not the 7480. It's like the 740 or the 750, whatever. It's a three-digit one. It's not the same thing. It doesn't have the same rip capacity. It doesn't have the same motor. You're not... I'm, I'm just sick and tired of, of your fish stories about, oh, I bought blah, blah, blah. No, you didn't. And we all know it. All you're doing is looking like a schmuck to everybody else. Freaking power tool fish stories. People need to take a big cup of grow the heck up. Um, I, You know, I, just in case you guys don't know this, I, I kind of do this for a living, and I go and I check prices and I track them. I know how much this stuff sells for. <laughs> anyway, next page. I know we're zipping through it, but we're we're long, getting long in the tooth. And let's be honest, the, the back half of the catalog Gets to be a bit redundant. You know, we saw the prices on before. The The front half is really where the big sales deals are. Um, so we're going to jump. The, the Drummond uh, pumps, I haven't used them, but I asked, you know, I did a call out for everyone on the, on the channel who's used them. I got probably 150 responses, not one negative. Probably over half of them were like, this thing's amazing. It was way better than I was expecting for the price. Okay, now down here. 50 foot electric drain cleaner. Okay, so the Bauer one was 100 bucks, and the the basic one here is 250. The larger one for 389. Unless you're a serious plumber who's doing this all the time, you you don't need to buy one of these. And if you and if you're not a serious plumber, you can rent them. You can go to the big box stores like Home Depot and Lowe's, and you can rent one of these these drain cleaners. That's why I don't see the the reason to to go in for the Bauer. Maybe. But maybe as, you know, a pro plumber, maybe you can post a reason why that is a good buy. Uh, again, I think these are for people who are doing serious plumbing jobs or you have some serious plumbing issues at home. But uh, then they also have the one that just attaches to your drill. And it's super cheap. I don't think it does quite 23 feet. I think it's more like a 16-foot one. All right. We're going to jump through there. Again, upper right-hand side, there's the save your back section. Uh, we got carts and we got heavy duty appliance dollies and uh, moving dollies. Guys, just be smart. Don't don't hurt yourself. You're not impressing anyone. All right. Next page. Yeah, we got the Avanti sp uh, airless spray system. Haven't had a chance to use it. I got the Wagner system myself. I'm pretty happy with the Wagner system. It looks like it's got all you know. It's one of these cases where they they, they took the one that's been out there for a while. Added all that features and then added more of their own. So I can't help but think it's going to be slightly better. And let's see here. We're going to skip a bit here. Here we go. We got the, the new safe systems they have out. Those look pretty nice. Again, they're not real safes. They're kind of security devices. Um, and then uh, the Apache cases. Man, I can't talk enough about the Apache cases. For the money, those things are great. Shut up, Moto. And the Hercules bags. Oh, these Hercules bags are nice. I, I like them a lot. I know a couple guys who use them professionally. They're, they're having a great time with them. Okay, and then we're on to generators. Remember, if it's got Predator in the name, you, you can't beat it. Uh, and uh, the Cubs are trying to talk me into picking up some of these higher end. They've got a 22 horsepower uh, gas uh, horizontal shaft, uh, 670 cc. Uh, basically, it's a V-twin for $750. And they're trying to... <laughs> he's back by me going... Please buy it, Daddy. They want to build a go-kart. We shall see. And then on the other page, we got the U.S. General setups. Look at those. That's Talk about some big bank setups. Just think about this. You've seen the ones that they have from, from uh, 
you know, uh, snap on and the other ones. Think how much they spend on those setups and think how much you can get with one of these. There's, guys, if you're starting out, go with the U.S. General. You know what? Some guys give you some rib ribbing or something. You know, just take it. You know, maybe wait till they're under the lift and accidentally turn it off or something. I'm just saying, no, 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 the bear kids. But the point is, save your money, pay yourself, put it into a 401k, you know, buy a house, you know, treat the, the wife and the cubs right, send them off to a good school. And then, like, when you're in your 40s and you put enough away and now you're making serious money, and then if you want to spoil yourself with, with you know, some fancy Gucci kind of toolboxes, you know, then do it. But... You know, don't worry about the brand. Worry about the job. All right, hand tools, hand tools, more good hand tools. We're going to be talking about hand tools coming up. Um, I think we all know the, the story with Harbor Freight, with the lifetime warranty. They kind of became the new Sears when Sears kind of backed away from standing behind their warranty. I know we were all kind of disappointed with them and what's happened to Sears. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, we're going to be highlighting a bunch more of these coming up here soon. That said, breaker bars. I'm a big fan of the Pittsburgh Pro. I, I have I cannot find a reason to justify the uh, the Icon Breaker Bar. The Icon Torque Wrench, though, is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I haven't had a chance to use the Quinn Digital Torque Wrench. I'm hoping to get my paws on one soon. we got some really serious testing coming up, and it'd be nice to be able to feature that in the... All right, and, you know, the Quinn Tools. I like the Quinn Tools. I've been real happy with the Doyle stuff I picked up. Next up, Ames Multimeters. Guys, I, I, I talked about these the, the other day, and a bunch of people commented with, well, you know, you can get the Fluke for a few dollars more. No, you can't. This, when you compare prices, let, let's be adults about this. you got to compare apples to apples. Don't, don't tell me I can buy a, a, a Fluke for a few dollars more, but it's the base model Fluke with absolutely no features, and then if I want to do the same job, I now need to spend $400 for it because that's the God's honest truth. All right? These Ames meters, now they're CE listed, but they've got the same safety and all sorts of features listing and approval that you see on the Fluke and everything else. And you cannot come close to these for the price. You just can't. Scan meter, the Zurich scanners down there. If, if I was running, a, a, like if, if I was getting just getting started or I was a shade tree mechanic, I would probably go with one of these. Yeah. Uh, I hate to say it, but the Snap-on really does have some of the best scanners out there. There might be a few that compete with it, but you're really going to pay serious money for them. All right, over on the right, we got the Daytona Jacks. One thing a lot of people seem to forget, that yellow Daytona Jack, that comes with a three-year warranty. Three years. Just bring it back. They'll swap it out. All right, we're going to skip a few pages. Come out here to the Grinders, the Good, Better, Best. Again, we got the Chicago Electric, Good, Bauer, Better, and the new Hercules, Best. I talked to some of you who have the Hercules. They're loving it. I haven't heard anything negative from it. I will say this. There's somebody out there trying to pass a video off showing the Hercules caught on fire. We busted them for, for uh, proving that it's not the Hercules. It's a completely different model and that the fire was obviously external. They pulled it down, but if you see it floating around, it's a bunch of BS and uh, just ignore it. Uh, I really hate, I don't understand. Maybe it's DeWalt getting, you know, getting a little worried that somebody's, you know, chomping at their heels there anyway uh down there the deep cut portable bandsaw there's a coupon almost always out there for 100 bucks at that price it's a great deal a lot of people forget the ones next to it you can get a standing metal cut bandsaw for 260 that's if you're doing serious or not serious but if you're doing prosumer grade even small shop kind of metal work that's a great bandsaw to get and then we got to talk welders the chicago electric you know, everyone's been super excited about the new titanium and the prosumer grade. And, of course, the Vulcan has really established itself as a no-questions, super pro-grade to pro-level welder. And I, I think people are honestly forgetting about the quality of the Chicago Electric. They kind of got Harbor Freight on the map for getting decent, cheap welders. You know, some people like to call them buzz boxes and whatnot. But for the average DIYer, for your home gamer kind of stuff, they will get the job done. And I'm going to talk about flux core. I'm going to do a whole video on flux core because it, people give it a bad rap. You're not going to be, you know, building super big metal sculptures and doing huge jobs with it. But for light duty, medium duty stuff around the house and homestead, flux core is not bad. It's easy to use. You can use it in conditions where you can't use a gas welder. You can get out there. 
you know, run a run a generator on it, fix a fence, fix a gate. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like the hot glue gun uh, of welding. But, again, it will make make it stick. And that's all, in many cases, all you needed to do. So uh, I'm hoping to do a comparison maybe between that and the new one coming out from Titanium. Of course, Titanium's come out with whole whole line. They're coming out with some great stuff. They've got the Flux Pro 125. they got a new stick welder out. Uh, at the 225 stick for two, uh, 250 just great stuff. And, you know, of course, again, you've got to talk about the, 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 the Vulcan stuff. I know people are asking me about the new the higher line pro TIG that kind of disappeared. I don't have any word for you on it. What happened to it? I'm sorry. Just, just no, no information on it right now. That's it from the bear. Happy Independence Day. And as always, shine on.